Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the fourth tutorial in this course. And in this tutorial, we are going to talk about variables in Python. And uh, a variable is nothing but a container in your computer's memory for some data, right? And uh, Python, unlike other languages, does not require you to mention type of variables, nor do you have to explicitly create or declare them before uh, assigning values. So, you know, it's obviously very convenient. And in the last tutorial, we checked out how we can create a string variable and we did create a, a few and we assigned string values to the variables as well. And uh, now I'm going to demonstrate how you can create a variable with a numeric value in it, right? And there are lots of different kinds of, uh, you know, things that you can store in your variables, you know, strings and, you know, numbers and whole numbers and fractional numbers. And, you know, you can also create uh, lists and, you know, uh, tuples and dictionaries. And, you know, we're going to talk about all of that in this course. But uh, for the time being, let's create a variable that has a number in it. So I'll call it var1 or variable 1 and uh, I'll use the assignment operator or the equal to symbol and I'll give it the value 55 and uh, when I press the enter key I don't see a message but when I type in var1 and press the enter key now I see the value that's there in the in the number and if I want to create a variable with uh, you know a fractional value something like uh, 37.86 I'll type in that and I press the enter key and again if I'll type in uh, var two and sorry var that's the name i've given to the variable and press the enter key i see the value that's there in it and i can also use the print function to see the value of the variable and uh, i'll type in print and within parentheses i'll just have to type in the name of the variable so if i type in var and press the enter key i see the value in it right so the next thing that we're going to check out is how we can assign one value to multiple variables on a single line right so let's say i want to you know assign uh, the value 100 to three variables, uh, variable one, variable two, and variable three. So I'll type in var1 for variable one and then the equal to symbol and I'll type in var2 for variable two, another equal to symbol and then var3 for variable three. And then after the final assignment operator, I'll type in the value that I want to assign. So if I want to assign 100, I'll type in 100 and I'll press the enter key. And uh, you know, if you guys are wondering that, okay, var1 we already created and you know, we're assigning a it a new value now that's that's allowed in python right so if you that's that's actually the the purpose of having a variable a variable can have uh, different values you can change the values in variables whereas in a constant you know if you give it a value then throughout the life of the program the constant sticks with that value right so now if i type in var1 uh, then i get 100 for var2 i'll get 100 again and var3 will also yield uh, 100 right so the same value has been uh, stored in the three different variables and uh, another thing that i want to show you guys is how you can assign values simultaneously to multiple variables but different values you know so in this case we assign the same value 100 if you want to assign different values to the three variables but you want to do that in the same line then uh, the way you do it is you will type in the names of your variables so var1 and then you use the comma symbol to separate the variable names this time so var2 and var3 and then you use just one assignment operator or you have to type in the equal to symbol just once and then you can type in your value. So let's say I want to store 100 in VAR1 and then uh, 65.82 in VAR2 and then, you know, I want to store a string in VAR3. So I just type in string within double quotes and uh, when I press the enter key, my variables have been created, values have been stored and I can check that. So VAR2 has 65.82 var3 has uh, the string string in it and var1 should have 100 and when i press the enter key i see the value right so this tutorial uh, was supposed to be an introduction to variables and in the next tutorial we're going to talk uh, about numbers and strings in in more detail and uh, thank you so much for watching this one i'll see you in the next tutorial and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, take care